Hello and welcome to On the Table. Today we are going to be discussing Christmas. Awesome. <laughs> because it is Christmas. It is Christmas. It is Christmas. It is Christmas. <laughs> So today is just a giant icebreaker question. That's awesome. basically what we're doing. Yep. So we're going to be discussing first, do either of you have a favorite Christmas carol? Hmm. Mine's Carol the Bells. I'm saying it before anyone oh else goodness, says it. Yes. I just love it. Yeah. I've never heard that's a version of it that I can't stand. So. Yeah. That's probably yeah. one of mine. Carol the Bells. Um, love it. Green Sleeves. I've never heard that one. Okay. I like mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it goes by different names too, so oh. which I cannot remember. So, so you, you have heard it. Oh, you, you have heard it. Heard okay. it. You've heard it. You have heard it. You've heard it. You've heard it. I'm not gonna say you've heard it, but it, Are you yeah. sure? Yes. Because you yeah. could. Just a little jingle. Um, oh Holy Night, I think is my favorite. Such a class. I, and it's because my great uncle used to sing it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's and, so sweet. And it's just like it's just Christmassy and like all my memories of him come flooding back and yeah. There's a lot of really adorable. good ones. There are a lot of really so good it's, ones. I think I think a lot of the like the Christmas classics. Are you a Christmas music person in general? Yes. I'm the type of person mm -hmm. who starts like November. Like yep. yeah. I we're in yeah, it love yeah. Christmas November's movie. into it for yeah. sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. November twelfth. I'm all over it. I'm ready for Christmas music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. It's yep. good. All right. Do you have a favorite Christmas dessert? Or Christmas yes. food. We can include yep. Christmas foods in general. Okay. Okay, what's yours? So Corey. many Christmas foods. <laughs> but if I have to choose. The um, entire dinner? <laughs> my Nana used to make, and, and now my mom makes it. It's called red and green cake. We call it it's red and green cake. So it's made with good. white rice flour, and you it's put really food good. coloring in it, red and green, and, and it's it's like done in, in, in dollops, so it, it ends up being a checkerboard pattern, and okay. there's this delicious icing over top, and so I will fight my brothers for the yes. last square. Like, we yes. will throw down if we have to. <laughs> yes, they um, will. Yeah, because it's just it's just so good. It like melts in your mouth too. Oh my gosh, it's so like it's, I'm I need no, it I'm, right now. Yeah, saliva has <laughs> happened. Uh, it's so family good. recipe. It's so good. So good. <laughs> what about yours? Um, okay, for dessert, probably okay. So growing up, my mom always made this very simple. Uh, it was just a no bake cheesecake, which now like looking at it, it's like I've made it a few times and it's I really enjoy it. It's cheesecake. It's just uh, yeah. I, <laughs> it's so the weirdest good. thing because it, it's just a simple like no bake cheesecake, mm -hmm. and I'm not even a huge fan of no bake desserts. But for some reason, I think the nostalgia attached right. to this dessert yeah, well, that happens. Yeah. It's like this dessert to me is is Christmas. That's fine. So yeah. in my mind, that's that's probably what I, mm -hmm. what I always want to have. Like there were a few years where I was okay. like, I don't care about anything, but I just need to have this this cheesecake because that's mm. just. I have two because I can't decide, yeah. and they're both very nostalgic for me. Yeah. So one, so my family is very Dutch, like through and through and they through. Are Dutch, yeah. The only thing in our background is Dutch and Canadian. Um, so in the Dutch culture, what you do is everyone gets a chocolate letter that okay, is yeah. the first letter of your name. Right. Okay. So that for me, we always get one in our stocking, and if I had a Christmas without that in my stocking, it would be a problem for me mm. because it's so nostalgic. We've had it right. like every year. We've never missed a year. And like, I didn't always get my letter, but you know, for the most part, we're pretty good for that. <laughs> oh, and the other one is we have something that's more of a New Year's tradition, but also a Christmas one. Okay. And it's called Oli Bullen. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's so good. To, it's just dough. Yeah. It's just cooked dough that you shove in like icing sugar. It's like deep fried dough. It's like deep, literally you, yeah. you get a pot of oil yes. and my dad always does it. And he just throws in like, you'd literally so scallop the, the dough. You can put apples in it, cinnamon. Yeah. And you just put it in, it fries, so you take it out, and like they're really timbits. hot. They do look yeah. like Timbits. If you know what a Timbit is, mm, they do yeah. look like Timbits. So that's so more good. of a New Year's thing for us, but we sort of start it like five days early for Christmas. Why not? <laughs> because why not? You can only have deep fried dough so many times a year. It's so true. It's and it's us. within those days. Yeah. Exactly. So you might as well So make those are mine. It. They're both delicious. The other mm. thing, so. too, I really enjoy is Christmas cookies. Yeah. Oh, yes. See, okay, Gingerbread those are cookies, actually a little hit and miss for me. Cookies. The sugar Yours cookies. are always the best. Corey's yeah. an amazing yeah, Corey, baker. Corey's cookies. Like, next level. Yeah, <laughs> so, next level guys. cookies. Yeah. So Corey's Christmas cookies are great, but like shortbread cookies. And decorating, because your decorating skills are just like <laughs> That's true. mint. It's fantastic. I love shortbread cookies. You don't like shortbread cookies? Uh, okay, I do. I really like them, mm -hmm. but... Short I bread, feel like yeah. you can only have so many before mm. it's done. It's like an enamel bars for me. I'm the same way. Right, you, I can right. have like two, mm -hmm. one, and then I'm like sweetness is through the roof, Just and it's too much it. for me. 
So just leave me with a box of those cookies. See, so you're one of those people. And I'm good. Like, have you have you ever good. tried? I, I don't know if I made them last year for Christmas. But have you ever tried um, Earl Grey tea shortbread You have cookies? made Did them. Did I make yes. them? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, I have. Right. Yes, they were good. Because that has like a bitter element. Too they're not yes. too sweet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I had <laughs> I a lot of that. Those. See, I don't like cookie games. Yeah. I don't like cookie No, those were really good. All right. It's Christmas. Christmas Do you have a favorite family tradition? Whether it's with your like new married families now that we're all married, or with your extended family, or as a mm. child, any favorite okay, so family ones? With with my 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 non married family, my natural family, my okay. parents and my brothers, yes. I think I think one of my favorites that I haven't been able to do in a couple of years, I got to do it last year, which I'm so thankful and I think I'll get to do it this year, um, is our Christmas Eve. Yes. together where yes. we, we read the Christmas story we have appetizers for dinner we just hang out yeah um, we talk about the year we sometimes will watch a stupid Christmas movie it's just like this yep. really nice decompression time yeah. yes and especially when my parents that 17 years that they were that we that they were pastoring a church we would always do a Christmas Eve service and then we would come home and we would do that so that was really a Makes decompression sense. time for my parents yep. yeah so it's really nice um, but then with my married family, we do something called the Pickle Olympics. What? And it's based off I of love the, this. Tell us more. It's based off the Eastern so uh, European tradition of finding the pickle ornament hung on the tree. Right. Where uh, there's this tradition where you, you're supposed to do, you get a glass pickle ornament and you hide it somewhere on the Christmas tree, and the first person to find it gets a gift. But the Babetchikos don't do anything small, and so <laughs> yes, we know <laughs> they they have yep. turned this game into an Olympics. It's amazing. And so there it's are a series so awesome. of games that you compete with each other on, and one of them is finding the pickle. But it's no longer just on the Christmas tree; it's anywhere in the house. Oh my right? Gosh. Yeah. And, it's uh, amazing. And it's a tier system. So the a person, tier the person with the most, it's an Olympics, guys. Yeah, the yeah. person with the most wins. Is there a podium? Sadly, no. <sighs> there needs but to there be. But there are presents. We need, yeah. That's so good. you get the 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 person with the most uh, points at the end. Either sometimes er, the the prizes are always different. So sometimes you get to choose the first prize. It's like mystery prizes you get to choose. Okay. And sometimes it's like here's your gold medal prize. Okay. Kind of thing. Are you so. good at these Olympics? Hit and miss. Uh, to be honest, really? I'm hit and miss. I was the first girl of the family. Like it's it's three brothers and and two of them are married. And so I was the first girl who entered some of the more rough and tumble games. Yeah. The Not one surprised. with the tangerine. Corey. I remember hearing the about tangerine the tangerine toss. Was pretty tangerine. pretty intense. Yeah, we got injured, but it was oh. all in good fun. Yeah. It was all in yeah. good fun. That's there was good. there was a little bit of blood, but I mean, it's cold. It's outside. It happens. There's so. snow. We're talking, like, injured, you just injured, put injured, snow right? on it. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, the tangerine toss is my father-in-law takes a tangerine and he tosses it as far as he can outside and it's always snowy because it's Canada and it falls somewhere in the snow and as soon as he throws it all of the kids run and try to get the tangerine and your goal is to get the tangerine and be the first person to get it back into my father-in-law's hands and it's always just been the boys and last year I was like awesome. we're throwing you're like, down no way you're we're in. doing this you're yeah. in so Wait, it was last year the first year you did it yeah because you just like had a baby I not that long a, yeah. ago yeah. yeah. So like the rule like was they had months, to be yeah. Still. They had to be a little bit more gentle with me, but the but yeah. Did you win that one? No, I didn't. So this year, this is the year. This is the year. This is the year. Yeah. Guys. It's what you could be I, doing right I, now. I love that your 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 Christmas traditions involve what arguably needs gym training. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. There's you need mental games. Oh, you might need to join CrossFit. <laughs> the rest of us to just do it. sit with our feet up eating <laughs> I'm your like, cookies. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I eat Corey's cookies. That's my Christmas <laughs> tradition. It goes back We've three got years. We've got some intense That's games. Funny. Some intense That's ones. That's really yeah. funny. Um, How about you? Okay, so every year, my husband and I, um, one of our traditions is we always go cut down our own Christmas tree. That's nice. That's so nice, yeah. Um, and we haven't always gone to the same farms. Like, we've done different farms. But now we've kind of settled on the one that we like. Um, so we go, um, and there's uh, they, they take you out by either horses or tractor, and yeah. you go and you, you pick your tree. And for me, like, I think over the years I've noticed I've gotten a lot more like, okay, this is the tree. You know, 10 minutes in, right. I know what tree I want, and I'm good to go. But he's getting more and more and more particular every year we About go. About the tree? Yeah. So we'll find that's the tree. Fair. I'm like, this one's great, honey. And he's like, okay. And then he'll go find one that's better and oh, compare fair. it. And so then we have to go and it's like. It's a process <laughs> now. And it's like, and then we have yeah. like the tree elimination. And it's like, 
we don't have, it doesn't need to take this long, <laughs> but it's part of our tradition is going in. So then That's we go, we cut, we cut down the tree, That's cute. we bring it home, and then we decorate it together. There's usually either we're doing doing hot chocolate or cider or something that kind of thing. Um, so that's Sounds probably warm one of my cozy and yeah. a lot less aggressive than yours. <laughs> it's a lot more family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> um, <That's cute. laughs> no, maybe, might not be more fun though, but mm. but no, that's that's one of my favorites. Like we have a few others. Like we do like Christmas Eve, we have our time. Like we do, we have our small like gift exchange. We'll watch a movie. We'll do like right. we do our like have a quiet. That's cute. A time where it's like no Christmas Eve. We tried to make it ours, assuming we're not at the Christmas Eve service that our church usually puts on. So it depends. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, my favorite things are so far have been just him and I. And now this year will be different. But yes, this year's gonna be different. So we'll see. But we'll see how our traditions now. change. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they likely will. Yes, <laughs> probably so a lot. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So one of mine, again, coming from a Dutch background, we have a lot of like Christmas traditions. So they actually have like a completely separate way of celebrating Christmas. Right. So it's celebrated on December the fifth. So it's way earlier. Now this was more my extended family growing up, not so much my immediate family, but we had like pieces of this. Okay. Growing up, so they call it Sinterklaas. And it actually yep. is for St. Nicholas, not, right, not, not Santa, Santa Claus. So it's it's different. Um, and so basically what it was is Santa Claus has a companion. His name, his name is Black Peter. And he is the one who goes up and down all the chimneys. And what you would do is he would be the one bringing gifts. Santa Claus is more like, he's more like almost a, he wears like a bishop attire, not a Santa okay. Claus. Because okay. he's a different. saint, I guess. He's a saint. Yeah. He's a, he's a saint. Exactly. So anyway, so he goes around from place to okay. place. They both go around from place to place. And all the kids, in your, you leave your shoes out. Right. And in your shoes, you put hay, carrots, sugar, and things for oh. his horse. Okay. For the horses, okay? And not reindeer, horses, okay? Right. And then while you're asleep... Black Peter comes down the chimney and he's always covered in soot, always. He comes like down the chimney. And if you're good, you get gifts and nice things in your shoes. And if you're not, you get coal. Okay. So okay. kind of like Crossover. you can see the similarities, yeah. right? So that was still a thing. So they, they do that. That's kind of the Christmas celebration. And then on December 25th, it's still a holiday, but that's really to focus on church and time with family and not gifts. Okay. So they're two separate things. Mm. Okay. So we still, with my extended family, we get together on like whatever Saturday is closest to December 5th with my extended family. And we kind of do the Sinterklaas thing. And right. we do one of the other things that was really big um, was we would always get an orange from right. our grandparents, mm -hmm. always. Okay. And it was kind of like during the time of the Depression and that kind of stuff, it was like really a scarce. Like thing. an orange is a huge a deal. deal. Yeah. So that's still one of the things. It's usually like a little clementine or something like that. So we still always get one of those. So that's one I have like a lot of fond memories of. Okay. Also some scary memories because when you see someone dress up as Black Peter, it's not as inviting as Santa that Claus. That sounds awful. So oh, like okay. there'd be times awful. in school, because I went to a very Dutch school as well, where like our shoes would be out and like you could see like this creepy person in like black soot running around with the shoes. Ugh. And it's like, it's kind of terrifying. But, but kind of cool because you can guess. That's scary. So, so there is like a bit of a a bit of a like um moment with it. Okay. So that one was good. And then like now, kind of like with my family and like uh, my husband's family. Okay. And things like that, too. We have, like, little cute ones. Like, I always love when we go out with the whole family and get trees. Yes. Yeah. Last year was my first time ever having a real tree over a fake tree. Mm. Much different day. That was day. awesome. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten to go and, like, help them pick the tree. But now right. that yeah. my husband and I are married, we got our own tree last year. That's nice. And it was really exciting. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of kind of one of the new things. That's, like, it's just so cozy yeah. and warm and family yeah. time. Just any time with family is always good, but even more yeah. so around Christmas. Mm -hmm. The difference so. between a real tree and a not real tree it's big. Yeah, big. it is a big it's one. Pretty big. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. so that was exciting. We're probably going to stick with the whole real tree thing. Yeah. It's fun like to go get them too. It is. It is. It's a whole thing. You have to remember thing. to water it, but you do. I'm not a plant yes. person either. So, but hey, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you just need to keep it alive for a month. You just like, got to water just, it like yeah. with, with gigantic cups of water yeah. every now and then. Yeah. 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 It's good. And, and communicate with your spouse <sighs> if they've watered it, yeah. because otherwise you have a big bottle under the tree. I would yeah. communicate, but there's no chance he's ever watered it. <laughs> yeah. So we're good. Mm. My husband's always watering it, and then I go to water it, and then it's like, wait, why is it over? Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Towels! Yeah. Towels! That's funny. Our dog would yeah. drink from it all the time. Nice. That's She's like, it's a new water bowl. 
Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, it just okay. has a tree in it. Our cat tree flavored. has the ornaments exactly. at the bottom. So we always have the, the soft, right. non glass ones. And That's then the glass smart. ones are, are up higher. That's smart. Or anything breakable because they like to sit there. And I have, I have some, I've done paper ones. Yeah. Because I have one cat that will sit there and chew on ornaments. Mm. And so. I have ornaments there for them to destroy <laughs> because You're otherwise my, for it. Yeah, because otherwise my, my nice ornaments are ruined. I see. Mm. So do you have a least favorite thing about Christmas? <coughs> mm. There is one Christmas song that every time it comes on the radio, I change stations. <laughs> Which one's that? Uh, I think it's called Christmas Shoes. That's it's a sad. Very sad. It's just song. too sad for me. My mom watches that movie several times every Christmas. I watched season. it once. Mm. The whole season. Uh, someone made me watch it, a friend, and I'm still working on that forgiveness for having to watch that movie because it's just, nope. No, it's not for me. It's not for me. So I think that's fair. I'm not a sad movie person in general, no, and no, especially not around I'm Christmas. Not on Christmas. Life is sad enough. Yeah. You know, yeah. just everyday up. life. I want something happy. For sure. For <laughs> Even sure. if it's not real. Yeah. My least favorite thing about Christmas is sometimes a good thing and sometimes a bad thing. Okay. So I like gifts for Christmas. Oh, yeah. I'm yes. a fan of it. Okay. I yeah. love receiving gifts, but more than that, I love giving Me gifts. Me too. Yeah. Love it. Me too. Love packaging, all of it. It's fun. Yeah. But sometimes it takes away, I think, yes. from the meaning of Christmas. And yes. sometimes, even if you're non intentionally doing it, it can take yeah. away the meaning of Christmas. And it's it's so yeah. important to keep it focused on, you know, Jesus' birth and all those different yeah. things that it's tricky. So it's like, I love gifts and I love that we do gifts because we do gifts on the 25th in my family as well as the 5th, which is exciting. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. But it's hard <laughs> to then make nice. sure that you have the time allotted for Jesus that is meant yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. So it's a toss up. It's keeping and it's more focused. the struggle of that yeah. that is like one of my least yeah. favorite things. Yeah. 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 And like also how, how much pressure I think a lot is associated for so many people yes. with Christmas and, and yeah. how so and so many people feel you know that they need to give so much and give yes. above their means that yes. always makes me feel really bad yeah um be, be, it's not it's not a pressure that i've uh, that i've ever really felt because i've tried to really focus myself on it's not about the size of the present that yes. you're giving because i i love giving gifts like that's yes. one of my love languages i love to just give things to people yes um but it but i don't ever want anyone to feel pressure that they have to give back right. or that they have to give outside because that's not what it's about mm -hmm. yeah. and, and yeah. so there is that like that nasty commercial commercialization side totally. of it yeah. where it's like it can be so fun but then don't buy into it that it has to be a certain way right. or yeah. you somehow failed at life yeah right. so you failed christmas yeah. yeah and then also it can be a very sad time as well because it's that's time yeah. that we spend time with family but then when you lose someone or when someone can't be with you for whatever reason it can be a very difficult time emotionally mm -hmm. yes yeah. So there's that side of it too, where it's it, then I try to make that feel myself in being kind to everyone else because yeah, I know so that people going to a mall at Christmas time is the worst. It's hard. Just going Middle around Middle of town, November, it gets nuts. Yeah. Everyone's on a mission. So many people are stressed out. So many people are sad. Yep. And it's yeah. just like, so trying to then it's remember like those things, yeah. like, yeah. commercialization of Christmas, pressure and sadness, and trying to fuel that into being kind to people no matter what happens. Yeah, totally. That's kind of how I've tried to deal with it, but because yeah. you do see it with people. Yeah, you do. You do. A lot, that pressure and the sadness. Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of, a, a lot of times around Christmas, like we lose family, friends, like there are people who pass away, mm -hmm. and yeah. that, can, that can for years make Christmas difficult and challenging yeah. for people. Totally. So there is there is that to consider, which is it's harder. Yeah, for it some is. people it's it's not always warm, magical, yeah. mm -hmm. nothing like and that. And to be so. considerate about it too, like what you yes. said, yeah, that can be tough if you're caught up with yes. it. So yes, yeah, it's and a good as, thing to remember. And then as Christians, then like fueling fueling that remembrance too into this is why we're celebrating Christmas. This yes. is why Christ yes. came yes. because yes. the world is so messed up now, and yes. it's yes. not death is not. It's not going to be forever. Yeah, yeah. it was and never part of the plan. Yeah, so. so we can we can say on the other side of it, death, where is your sting? Yes. yes. You know, and the victory is stolen from sin. So, like, just remembering that in, yeah. in the Christmas yeah. Christmas yeah. season as a Christian, if you have lost, yes. remembering that as well. But Yeah, 
Yeah. I think that's the one thing about um, another one thing that I don't like about um, my least favorite thing about Christmas um, is is just how um, that that culture, like what our what it is now, is reflected a lot. So you'll see um, it's become mostly about Santa. It's become mostly yes. about gifts. It's become yes. mostly about all the Christmas music. A lot of it has nothing to do with the birth of Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's why we celebrate the, re like we do things like we go get our tree, we do exchange gifts, yes. but our reason why is yeah. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as a family. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we read the Christmas story every year totally. before we're opening presents mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like we do, we have our Christian ease way that we celebrate yeah. that's mm -hmm. different yeah. that we don't, mm -hmm. um, that it's not as showy necessarily, but because when you're going to the store, there's always Christmas music and it's always yeah. um, like it's jingle bells or yeah. it yeah. has nothing to do with the birth of Christ. And sometimes after a while, I kind of yeah. struggle with that because it's like you get I get tired of the commercialism. I get tired of the. Right. Yeah. How it's the whole thing. That, that hijacked. Whole, it, it is totally been it's hijacked. a good word for mm -hmm. it. Hijacked. Yeah. So that I struggle Very with. True. I, but, I do appreciate, though, like around Christmas, everyone seems to be kind because like people are, are, more are people. in the Christmas spirit. But I find that through that you have such a great chance of like people are willing to listen to the Christmas story. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like and like with every holiday you have like your Christmas and Easter church people too. But I think it's such a sweet opportunity for us to share what Jesus has done and that it's not just over Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That it's all year long that Jesus has done it once and we get to celebrate it all year long. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Christmas is really like kind of like when yeah. the world sort of celebrates that, mm. but but we get to do that like Christmas and Easter, obviously. But but I think around Christmas, people are more willing to hear the gospel, which is something that, again, I always kind of try and like. Not that you shouldn't evangelize all year long. That is so not what I'm saying. It's a new, <laughs> should. It's a new type of but opportunity, it's a new, though. It is a new type of opportunity, and there's a new willingness, I find, yeah. from people, mm. too. So I think it's always a good thing to keep in mind around Christmas, too, is that when you are going out, when you are doing your hustle bustle, not to just be kind, but to also make sure that, you yeah. know, people know why you're celebrating and not, mm. like, in your face, because that can be awful, too, yeah, and kind of overdone. But, but in a way that is really showing the kindness and love of Christ, mm -hmm, which right. is such a great opportunity to be able to do that too mm -hmm. so that's awesome all right so even though it's christmas we're not really sitting down <laughs> with you right now this is pretty taped we're not live yep so what do you think you guys are going to be doing right now during this moment on christmas christmas okay. day the 25th. christmas day the so 25th this is, and this usually gets released i think it's in the morning it, it gets released online so this is christmas morning what are you doing christmas morning yes okay so go for it rachel right now if you were, if, and I'm assuming people aren't actually watching this Christmas morning because they're probably spending time with their family. But if you are. Merry Christmas then, to you if you are. <laughs> Way to go. Then I am probably, if, okay. So my due date, depending on who you ask, is depending Boxing Day, ask. December yes. 26th. So Christmas morning, if I have not had this baby, I want to have had this baby because <laughs> I already want this baby. Rachel is trying all the old wives' so tales on how to, to go doing into labor. Everything. <laughs> yeah, we'll I'll have our Christmas morning exchange, my husband and I, and then I will be like on the internet, what can I do? I will drink the things you drink. I will eat the things you eat. I'm sure none of them will work, but oh, I'm no. still probably trying anyway. So if you That's have funny. any tips, <laughs> you can message them to me. Yeah. Honestly, I... I want this done. <laughs> you'll, you'll be over it. That's where you will be. I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping thing. she's going to be early because I'd like to have. I'd like to be, nice. be holding my baby. That would be for nice Christmas. for Christmas, right? That nice. would be nice. So if she could come mm. a couple days early, that would be fantastic. So that's, that's we'd, we'd be fine with. That I'm yeah. I'm good with that. Good. And it would be that's really good. really convenient if it was before Christmas because then people that's can true. come visit before Christmas true. as opposed to nice. after when it gets crazy. <laughs> that's fair. So yeah. Well, mine's a lot less interesting than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, my husband and I we do our little gift exchange, read the Christmas story, and then whether it's my family his family depending on what we do each yeah year. we haven't actually planned haven't that part out yet. This yeah. year yeah. yet so we'll figure it out and then we do you know we exchange in um for my family with my siblings we always pick names for gifts which okay. is fun that's so nice. we always do that and 
Brandon's side of the family and Corey's family. We mm -hmm. don't. So we kind of get to do more gift giving, which I love doing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll be doing some of that. That's and nice. then um, sometimes we do a church service, sometimes not. It just depends on the year and what churches in the area are doing what. Yeah. And then, yeah, kind of doing that. And we all, also, we have like a really cool park beside, like next to our house that's not too far away that always lights up with tons of Christmas lights. It's so pretty. So oh, we, yeah. we either Christmas Eve or Christmas day sometime, we'll go through. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. What that's about you, nice. Corey? Yeah, uh, normally Chris, the actual 25th would probably be spent with the Babechkos, yeah, my married typically side. That's typically that's how it yeah. works. I'm really hoping this year that I can deke out to go visit um, some family that doesn't live with us anymore. Um, and then and then we do Babechko Christmas dinner at night. The Pickle Olympics? The Pickle Olympics actually happen Christmas Eve. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Yeah, they're actually a Christmas Eve thing. Yeah, and have, it's late at you night. You have a lot it's of after, back and forth. It's after the little kitties go to bed. So wait, hold on. Your tangerine, okay. what's it called? Tangerine toss? Is at is night. The, is it in the dark? It's in the dark. <gasps> that makes it so much better. It's in so much the better. pitch black, That's great. you guys. Did, you don't, <laughs> so do you, good. Are you allowed flashlights? Like No. You, no. So you just have to feel around? Yes. And hope you, you don't find something that's not so a tangerine? You try so hard. Okay, this is what I've learned. <laughs> Do not try to follow yes. the tangerine. You look at the yard and you try to expand your peripheral vision to see where it falls. <laughs> We have tips. This year, you guys. This year is so. This if it. we ever participate in a tangerine toss, yes. we yeah. now have the insider now tips know. of how to, how, to, how to do this. So that's likely what you're doing. Because I've never won before, but now you know. <laughs> but you know how to win. How will you know? Your However, I yet. must say, if Rachel's in labor on Christmas Day, I'm gonna be like opening presents with the babette goes like this with my phone, like <laughs> waiting true. for that's Andrew true. to text me. Probably. Being like, She's yeah. here. <laughs> So what we do could depend on what you do. It's yeah. entirely it's, possible. It's possible. Yep. There, there is a chance that everyone's going to get a text. Hey, guys. Yeah. Merry Are Christmas. you busy? That's funny. <laughs> Come meet my new baby. That's great. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, so. I love Christmas. And if you are watching this Christmas Day or around Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for watching some of the podcasts. We so appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our last one for 2018. We're yep. not sure what's going to be happening after that. But if you want to stay up to date with Bible Discovery, which is what we do for our day jobs, you can visit the website, which is www.bibledescoverytv.com. And on there, you can find all kinds of resources from Corey and Rachel's got some blogs up there. So there's all kinds of things. So take a look at that and have a great year. Thank you for joining our discussion today on the table. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest from Bible Discovery TV. On the Table is also on Facebook. Check out our page for our newest episodes and some behind the scenes content.